Get ready for the craziest weekend in live a little history. Evan, how do you refresh yourself after a long day of painting the monster truck track? It's called sagebrush cocktail. It's kind of strong. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul, and yeah, this is incredible. We are going to do five shows, three days, four different states. Friday night, we've got Skyler, Brittany, Kobe, and the Pritchards that are taking care of the show at the Utah County Fair in Spanish Fork. Meanwhile, me, Mike Nasty, and the Midwest crew, Caden, Evan, and Stacy are flying out. We'll be in Riverton, Wyoming. Then Saturday night, Grace, Idaho, for the other crew. Our crew is going to do Gillette, Wyoming. And then, in almost as many hours as it's going to take us to get there, we're going to drive all night to Rifle, Colorado for the final monster truck show where I'll end up dropping Caden off in Salt Lake City, Utah. So, we got a lot of ground to cover this weekend. Right now, I'm headed to Riverton. I'm going to pick up. Caden and, and uh, the Midwest crew at the airport in Riverton. I'm driving through this very familiar place and in one of the last hill climb videos that I did, I was talking about, I filmed this thing so much, like I need to quit filming it, but I've never filmed it at this time of year. It's really beautiful. We're gonna see a lot of desolate stuff. We're gonna see a lot of beautiful stuff, but uh, announcer life on the road again, and all for the Monster Truck Insanity Tour. Welcome to fair season. you ever wondered what Teton means? It's boo. Grand Teton? Big boo. Might be why I like him so much, I don't know. It's been really nice relaxing going up over Togety Pass and all that kind of stuff. It's a beautiful drive. A little bit of rain, which is very welcome. It won't be if it dumps on us when we're trying to build a monster truck track, but really like the rain. Air conditioning works good. Nice ride, but I don't know what it is about it, but it makes me sleepy. And uh, we're going to swing into a country store here in Dubois. Uh, it is the Jackalope. I don't know, I think they used to say like world's biggest collection of jackalope stuff. They do have some souvenirs you can buy, but a lot of it is just really cool art. I've driven past it a thousand times until last year when me and Maddie were on the road and there's a great big taxidermied or waxidermied or big jackalope in there that you can actually, it's a photo op, you can get your picture taken on it and uh, really cool, but it's a neat little stopover. They got good snacks. They got all your gas station type snacks. It's kind of a country store, but they have tons of Wyoming souvenirs and things like that. And I just had to do this one. I had to get myself a little souvenir 
in there. Last year, me and Maddie got a bunch of stickers. She got a couple little jackalope things, but kind of an Edroth style design t-shirt. And uh, they got the original art is actually on the wall in there. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, if you happen to be passing through here, it's kind of neat. Kind of a fun, quirky cross between uh, roadside attraction stuff and tourist trap stuff, but it's pretty fun. And uh, it's, But it's right next door to a laundromat and car wash that has the entrance is a huge bison skull. So um, my kind of stuff, I don't know why I like that weird shit, but uh, we're going to get on the road. And uh, There's also uh, a military equipment museum here. I got, I think I'm still about an hour and a half two hours away from riverton but we may we may go check out that military museum i just know what's going to happen if i go in there i'm going to wind up spending a lot more time than i should but we'll get the exterior the exterior is pretty cool so uh here we go i just made the decision we're not going but i'll show it to you but the good news is mason here did stop and got a video of it and you can see that video at warhead monster truck on youtube so, away we go to Riverton. Headed to the airport now to pick up the crew from Arkansas, our Midwest team, Caden, Evan, and Stacy. I just gotta tell you right now that I'm not real happy because I get to the hotel and in all the places in the world, and I don't wanna get this video taken down, but I saw this. Really? In Wyoming. But uh, let's go pick them up. I do the... So, uh, I didn't film it last night because it was dark, but everybody made it. Evan, if you can believe it, he actually did survive. He did not die on the airplane like he thought he was going to. I did. I did really well. It went good. Don't lie. It's a matter of opinion, really. Yeah. I had a feeling somebody was going to chime in on that, but uh, we're super excited to have him here. We're just kicking it here at Riverton and uh, waiting. <laughs> I don't know who's all in the shot here. And we're just waiting um, for we've got an equipment operator, which is going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Mike Nasty and Mason and Amy will all be here pretty quick, but show day, first of three. Probably the last time we're gonna sleep. Yep. Do some monster trucking. Okay, try our best, dude. All right. As long as the weather cooperates. <laughs> yeah. It sucked to have to wash them tonight, wouldn't it? It is what it is, right? It's part of monster trucks. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we got the, all the boys here, ready to party. Evan, how do you refresh yourself after a long day of painting the monster truck track? Ice cold sagebrush cocktail. It's kind of strong. <laughs> it's so worth it. Oh, He's got He's coming to do. size 10. <laughs> and a half. I mean, what? You look like you got a size 14. I do. Oh, there you go. Uh, Are you doing sobriety tests out of guilt or what? You just have feet are small. 
11. 11. No. Yes. No. 11. Are you <laughs> driving tonight? Eric said all he needs is 10. Favorite <laughs> part of You're going to say eight feet tops on that? It's hard to grow dirt is the problem. I can remember the very first time they put a minivan out there. And um, I looked at that, I was like, what the hell are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> yeah, so like, you guys are leaving tonight. Yeah, well, they'll be loaded up and out of here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. show is done and uh, it was pretty spectacular for uh, for a three truck show it was pretty amazing we kind of shuffled some things around to make it fit these shows we typically go two hours at our shows and these fair shows are usually 90 minutes is what the fair boards want and uh, we went a little bit over but we did a really cool thing Mason Mentor did something that we've never seen before he jumped another truck and it looked like this and then uh, Rick and the Obsession Race team, Rick's not very happy, but Cousin Bo broke a planetary in freestyle and we've got to be in, well, we're gonna arrive about 2 a.m. in Gillette, Wyoming to start building track and prepping for the next show. Um, yeah, so the last thing that Rick wanted to do was be working on a truck tonight, and he he is right now. Rick, would you like to say a few words for my YouTube channel? This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely going in the channel. But uh, we're just about loaded out. We should arrive by about 2 a.m., give us uh, two or three hours of sleep, and then we will somehow get to Rifle, Colorado for the last show, but that's an all-night drive. Uh, that's what we do. It's a pretty good job, and we only have to do this once a year, and that's what I keep telling myself. But we'll get this done, and then Caden uh, <laughs> and I are going to go from Rifle to Salt Lake that night. 
I think Mike and Amy are going to stay in Rifle that night, but uh, Caden flies out Monday, so we'll go as far as we can, get headed towards Salt Lake from Rifle, and uh, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, spoiler alert, we made it to Gillette. We're here now getting the track set up. That's all going to come to you in another video. I hope you enjoyed the travel montages. Everything from here out is going to be in the dark except for the show stuff so uh, there won't be any more of that but it's just such beautiful country i had to put that stuff in there but anyway please subscribe to the sagebrush soul youtube channel you can see more stuff like this we've got a lot of great content from earlier in the year still yet to come out just haven't had a chance to compile it yet but i'm kenny this is sagebrush soul and may the best of your past be the worst of your future uh did you break the truck bow or was it, was it like scratching? Mother shit? Nature broke it. Yeah. Don't <laughs> blame it on the weather. <laughs> Those little bitty raindrops broke your big old monster shit? It might have. Oh, man. I don't know. I came back. Rick was like, I ran out of talent, but I think I needed a better driving instructor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did good. Y'all did good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Really. Appreciate it. Killer show.